Hi, I'm John Hope Bryan. I'm the founder, chairman, and chief executive officer of Operation Hope. I'm the author of the best-selling business book about leadership, the new way to lead in a fear-based world. I think it's also appropriate to know that for you to know that I'm also the chairman of the Committee on the Underserved and Community Empowerment for President Barack Obama and the President's Council on Financial Capability. The two roles of, well, thought leader in the middle, love leadership, promoting economic empowerment through Operation Hope, and advocating for consumer protection with the President's Council, my role for the administration. This um, bowl really lifts up a new generation of thought. Um, this approach is about a hand up and not about a hand out. This vision is something that OECD has been doing and thinking about for a long time. Now on the backside of this global economic crisis, we've got some fixing to do to make sure that free enterprise and capitalism works for the poor. It seems that capitalism does need bumpers. It seems that we need to, yes, promote free enterprise and capitalism, and we should not restrict its growth and its opportunity because most jobs in the world come from small business, and it comes through free enterprise and capitalism. I mean, even our friends in China have figured out a communist country that capitalism and free enterprise is the only way to truly set their people free. But we've got to provide some framework, some bumpers, some protection for people who really may not understand the contracts that they are entering into. And so here in the U.S., and we had our role to play in the crisis itself and triggering it around the world, we are sorry about that, um, Richard um, Cordray is the director of the CFPB, the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, and he's a friend of mine. And Richard and I were just talking about the role of consumer protection and financial literacy, the role of consumer protection and financial capability, the role of consumer protection and financial empowerment and economic empowerment. What Richard Cordray said was really a quote that I said that he now has adopted, and now we both own it. If we had more consumer empowerment, we need less consumer protection. And so this is where it all comes together. I think that OECD's role in trying to frame out proper regulatory environment that protects consumers, that does make sure that people don't are not preyed upon, is extraordinarily important. But we also have to match that with a robust strategy of consumer empowerment. I'll give you one example of how we do that. At Operation Hope, we run Hope Financial Dignity Centers. Uh, in the U.S., we have credit scores, and a 800 credit score is almost perfect. A 500 credit score is predatory. You have check cashers, payday loan lenders, predatory lenders preying on 500 and 550 credit score neighborhoods. Our mission at Operation Hope is really simple. It's called a 700 credit score initiative to move a poor neighborhood, an underserved neighborhood, from a 500 credit score or a 550 credit score to a 650 or a 700 credit score. When you do that, the liquor store turns into a convenience store. The check casher and payday loan lender and title lender and rent to own store turns into a credit union or a bank. In five years, you move a community from a handout to a hand up into a market opportunity and, by the way, an emerging market. The poor are an opportunity. My next book just might be How the Poor Can Save Capitalism. So let's not look at the poor and the underserved as somebody to pity. Let's look at them as an opportunity to lift up every economy around the world and to give them uh, the world an opportunity for a second round of prosperity. And let's look at consumer protection and consumer empowerment as partners in this work. This is what we do at Operation Hope every day of our existence, and we encourage you to build upon this legacy and give people the silver rights they so rightly deserve. Thank you, and God bless OACD.